What's going on, everybody? I hope you're all well, and welcome back to Dragon Age Awakening. The last episode, we took care of the tunnels underneath Vigil's Keep. We secured our home base, so that does leave us in a pretty good position to press on forward now and take care of some things outside the world. So, we did pick up a couple quests while we were in Knotwood Hills. Of course, we got the long buried past. Find records of Darren Lyle in Amaranthine. An old letter found in the Knotwood Hills revealed that a treasure hunter named Darren Lyle found something in the chasm and took it to Amaranthine. The Chantry in Amaranthi may keep records that could reveal what Darren Lyle found, so we do need to swing by the Chantry and then we got Lucky Charms. Return the Hunter's Trinket You found some of Micah and Colbert's belongings in the Knotwood Hills, including what appears to be a Lucky Charm. They might be grateful if you returned it. And so we are, of course, also going to swing by the stores in Amaranthi, because that's where Nathaniel's sister is. We did say we'd take care of that for him. And then after we do some of the Radiant quests in there and get some of this out of the way, we will go ahead and start doing some of the main plot things. Alrighty, here we are in Amaranthine. And if you look down in the bottom left, we're actually right on by being max level for this expansion. This expansion does cap out at 30, and we're about to be there. We need, what, 2,000 XP? 1,500? So by the time we're done in Amaranthine, we might actually have that level up. Let's turn in Lucky Charms. You're back, eh? What's it like out there? Darkspawn crawling all over? I found this trinket and would like to return it. Thank the Maker. Meek has been afraid to move from his spot since he lost a stupid thing. Sorry, couldn't go without Lucky Deerfoot. Thanks for finding it. And now we're getting away before the Darkspawn arrive. Good luck to you. That is likely a very good decision. Alright, now that takes care of that. The shady character did run down this way. He wanted to talk to us, but again, given that we're here to clean up Amaranthine and get rid of Howe's influence, I'm not interested in funding and fueling a criminal element. Is Stefan. This is the prisoner we let out of the cage back in Calharol. I knew you'd make it back here. Have you sold that thing I gave you? It's not much, but I hope you get a good price for it. You're sure you're not infected with the Darkspawn taint? I... no. I feel fine. You don't think I... Uh, maybe I should just go. Yeah, I actually can't really tell if he's holding up okay or not. He looked like he is, but... I suppose it's hard to do a, a side test for the Darkspawn chain. Alas. Okay. The only alternative would ex was executing him in the cage, and we certainly weren't going to do that, so... My pardon, sir. I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to you. A hundred silver, sir. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. Who gave this to you? Some visiting knight didn't catch his face. Full helmet, you know. He said he was... Sir Wolf of Ravain. Wait, Wolf? As in the Dark Wolf? Ah, the Dark Wolf's nothing but a rumour. Mind you, he was acting suspicious. Do you remember anything else about Sir Wolf? No, sir. Again, my pardon. Okay, so it looks like the wolf found us, so we won't have to try too hard to find him. To find the Dark Wolf, you were handed a note that indicates the Dark Wolf will meet you by the fountain. So we are looking for a fountain somewhere in here. That makes our work a little uh, easier. Excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. Search me for smuggled goods. I am the Warden Commander of Vigil's Keep. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. <laughs> I don't think he meant you all. I'd be a fool to smuggle my own goods. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. I'm glad to see you're taking precautions. Is there anything I can do? We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. I will certainly do that. I am very interested in cleaning up the city, actually. Anything I can, anything I can do to lower Alhau's residue of corruption in this place, I'm certainly going to take my chance at doing so. Constable Aiden. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. Certainly. What exactly is happening here? With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies. 
We could distribute it to the needy. I'll deal with the problem. How do I find the smugglers? There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. I can certainly try, Rem. So, see a lot of You're things around here. Call of duty, Warden Commander. We're grateful. No problem at all. I'm commoners. The warden's taking over vigils. Keep is bad news. Interesting. How's your wife? <laughs> Very sick, and we haven't been able to get her medicines. No one has any. That's unfortunate. No, I'm not sure why the commoners would think the warden's taking over is bad news. Perhaps because it attracts darkspawn attention, duty, maybe. Now, this would be the suspicious character. We're not going to worry about him just yet. I would like to... Take a look at some of this stuff first. Ooh, fingers twitching so much shiny. We can buy anything you want. I know better than to nick any of this. I was just remembering. Growing up castless in Dust Town, we took what we could get, when we could get it. But that doesn't excuse what I was. A thief and a lying rotten duster. Hot. <laughs> Adding eavesdropper to your list of fine qualities. You know it. <laughs> Let's move along before the temptation becomes too great. I've only so much self-control. Ogren's a fan of Sigrun. He couldn't tell already. <laughs> Is a noble. With trade halted, I can't get my silks from Denerim. It's just awful. All right, shady character. Greetings. Could I interest you in? Uh, wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talk into the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. Oh, I wouldn't recommend starting a fight over this. Anders, you already see the problem back here. We're going to nuke him off immediately. He's dead. Nice and easy. Now I don't drop a whirlwind since this guy's so kindly giving us his back. We still have Ogren. He's still rocking the... Cal Harold here. Now you'll know how this guy is just kind of running around away from us. You saw he ran up by the water fountain, so we are just going to follow him up. He's not going to be getting away from us too easily. Chase him around this whole damn city if I have to. He wouldn't run if he didn't have something to hide, so... Right, do you have a mage here? You do. Anders, you are way in the back right now, so... That's a perfect time, since you don't have mana clash. Let's just throw a bomb at the, the rabble here. There we go. That's gonna knock down the mage, and now you can do mana clash. And that's in death. Now again, I wouldn't recommend bombing your own party like that, but <laughs> when you know you have enough health to eat it like we do, you can be a little callous. Vicious God. Imagine the knight in full plate helm is him. We'll keep going down the way. Hired goon leader, there is another mage here, so... I know his thing is still on cooldown, so we'll just throw a mass paralysis in there for Anders. That's the mass paralysis. Hydegoon's already dead. Me and Ogren are going to take care of the mage. Of course, the mage is the problem here. And there goes his head. Now we just got to worry about the rabble. He's going to keep on running. I gotta remember to make a loop around the city after I'm done with this and make sure that I get all the loot these assholes are dropping. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to grab any of this. And there's the level 30. Alright, Ogren. Home for me. Warcry and I'll come on the rest. And they're all having a very b bad, bad day now. I will actually go ahead and loot this while I'm here. 
Right. Yeah, I think I might give Amaranthine a couple of episodes just to make sure and do all the side quests. Because there is a lot of content to do here. They certainly made a decent chunk of side quests to do. So we'll make a couple rounds this episode. And then I'll probably split the side quests of Amaranthine up into their own episodes too. City guards were already here fighting. I actually would prefer to not have them die if I can help it. On you. No mushroom rejuvenation. You're not going to be casting that. It's going to be the end of him. This hired goon out of there. And this guy's the last. There goes his head. And we kept the city guard alive. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, maybe some nobles Before we head on down and chase that guy to the natural conclusion, we do have a final level up here. So we have 50 dex and 48 cunning. Let's definitely get 40 willpower for our stamina bar. And beyond that, we're literally never going to need any more willpower. 40 is absurdly high. So I guess we'll just uh, do cunning. Leave it there. Now for our final ability point. I don't think we've struggled really on any of this, so I guess I'll just, I'll do health, because there's no way we're going to need any more stamina at this point. Turn strikes, or twin strikes, excuse me. We'll go twin strikes. And there's Commander of the Grey for level 30. Now, Ogren, you're only level 29, so you have a couple more levels coming your way, actually. What Ogren will do, let's get him 50 dex and 41 strength. And for your abilities, we'll give you Peon's Plight. Any luck with the smugglers? There's an abandoned house that may lead to their den. That house has been locked up for years. To think that all this time it's been hiding the entrance. There will surely be someone on guard. Where there's a guard, there's a key. I'll investigate. If you can find a way into the hideout, the smugglers won't have a chance. Good luck, Commander. Here's the shady character. Ah, how touching. He doesn't seem interested in talking to us anymore. And there goes his head. It's very interesting that they're wearing dwarven play. Dwarven play for humans. You don't see that very often. Certainly not human smugglers wearing proven helmets. Gotta be lots of interesting loot down here, right? Given that it's a smuggler's cove. This is Bioware's version of a mouse, which is all kinds of giant rat. <laughs> Smuggler leader. I heard about you. You were giving some of my boys trouble, weren't you? Gladly, actually. Alright, so as you can see, there's gonna be no negotiation with these people. They're not even interested in trying to get out of this alive. They just instantly attack us. Full of egos. Crooks off and on. I'm certainly willing to give them the death they seek. Alright, you will be getting off my rogue now. They're all dead. Gotta wait for the leader to unfuck himself. There he is. <laughs> right. And that's the end of him. I almost got 450 XP for this guy. Acidic trap and a soul rob bomb. Alright, let's take a look around. Let's see what they were packing here. Five sovereigns, floor spire quartz. Feet of the nimble. 50 stamina is huge buff on those boots, actually. Trickster's gloves for the rest of that set. A toy box back here. I think I ran past this at some point. I just never came this way. Toy chariot, we know who that's for. Since Ogren wanted a pony, I think he might like the toy chariot there. He said Bronco used to carve little things like that, right? I believe. Let's talk to the suspicious guard. Something tells me this might be the Dark Wolf. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. The Dark Wolf, I presume. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. 
I'd like to help. And why would you want to help me? You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators. But to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Well, that certainly won't be a problem. So you're doing this out of a sense of civic duty? Corrupt miserly nobles have beggared many a proud commoner. Some commoners turn to distasteful occupations just to survive. Is it not fitting that they would want to strike back in the only way they're able? Then fifty sovereigns it is. It will be done. Give me some time. It's like a Robin Hood, Grey Fox type figure. Now we had plenty of sovereigns. I mean, we're still at 920 even though we just gave him 50, so... I'm certainly not adverse to paying him 50 to find out who Howe's confederates are. And since you all know my opinion on all how, I'm sure you all already know what's going to be happening to them once I get my hands on that list. They're going to have a very bad weekend, I can tell you that much. Now gone down the line. Merchant's Guild Board. Who's Mervis? Let's talk to Mervis first. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here! I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Are you Mervis? Yes. Thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes. And but there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. And you suspect Darkspawn? We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Now, of course, we will go ahead and look into this, but these are merchants we're talking to, and we need to reassure these people that their bottom line is our bottom line. We're looking for trade at this point, right? We need to encourage trade to Amaranthine and Visual's Keep. So, we are going to say I will investigate it immediately. We're going to make this a top priority. Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. That sounds good to me. And again, of course, like I was saying, this is why we tell him it's a top priority. You're back. These people only Already speak in knows. coin, so we need to reassure them that we're going to hop on that immediately. Now we have the Merchant's Guild board. We have the Merchant's Goods. I am in desperate search for lost Orlesian silks. They left Denerim in a caravan bound for Amaranthine several weeks ago. I fear this caravan met the same fate as others before it. If you find the silks, please deliver them to Kendrick of the Merchant's Guild. He will see to a reward. Mafrath's Monuments I seek someone to brave the Wending Wood to locate ancient statues. Legend states that after Andraste's death, Mafrath erected statues in the Wending Wood in penance. The statues bear missing verses from the Canticle of Mafrath, which the Chantry includes among the dissonant verses. Since study of the dissonant verses is frowned upon, discretion is of the utmost importance. Please deliver charcoal rubbings of the inscriptions to the Merchant's Guild representative named Kendrick. A reward will await an anonymous Chantry scholar. Sir Alvard's Missing Sword Desperately seeking someone to travel to the village of Blackmarsh, I commissioned a sword from the village's master blacksmith and asked him to hide the delivery in a crate of ordinary goods. It has not arrived, and I am distraught. My grandmother's prized black pearl was set in the pommel, and I cannot afford to lose such an heirloom. If you go to the village, please inquire after the sword in person. Best regards, Sir Alvard of Amaranthine. Keep out of reach of children. The Merchant's Guild has received word that a lethal Antiban poison is being sold in Amaranthine, smuggled into Amaranthine by unsavory characters. Constable Aiden has asked that the Guild find a way to take this poison off the streets. The Merchant's Guild, of course, has nothing to do with the import of this poison, and is trying our level best to cooperate with the Guard. The Guild will pay for each bottle of the Antiban poison turned into Kendrick. Please keep this wicked substance out of the hands of our children. The Merchant's Guild. Now, of course, as we make loops around the city like we will do, we will be 
take as much of that as we can. You already see there's a bottle of poison right here. That's one of them. Now, in general, we do need to go talk to some people anyway, so we will be making another loop around the city. We gotta loot all these dead bodies still, too. On it. I don't recall if you can buy any of the poison from specific merchants, but we do need to check their inventories anyway, so... See another bottle of poison right here. Go ahead and snag that. We do want to get it off the streets. I don't want some urchin child taking a swig. Glassrick the weaponsmith. What do you have for us, Glassrick? Okay, so we did clean our inventory up, and I see right here the Legionnaire Scout, the manual for that ability, is in fact in this merchant's inventory. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Snow globe. There's a snow globe gift. We'll go ahead and take that. Have any more gifts in here? I don't think he does. Right, I think we're good. Legion Scout specialization unlocked, of course, which will be very good. Now we have Octham the Grocer. What do you have, my friend? We do, of course, want to check his inventory. Check everybody's inventory here, really, that we can. Yes, Spirit Warrior. Very cool. We'll take that manual very fast. As a Golden Vase gift, we'll take that. Have a backpack for us? He does not. But we will, of course, take Spirit Warrior in all the specializations. Again, once you unlock these ones, you unlock them forever. So grab what you can, whenever you can. So it's a good bet. Keep on circling around. Grab all these poisons. Right. That's that one. Now, there's a chantry up there. You see, we do see a very old friend up there. Actually, that's Win. But given that Win is up there, they're definitely gonna swing on up to the chantry. I'm sure there will be a chanter's board outside there too. So. On it. Quest updated. I think that's the last of the poisons. Let's go turn this in. What's going on, Kendrick? Greetings, Warden Commander. I see you've undertaken some of the jobs posted on our board here. I knew you looked helpful. I appreciate that, and I definitely appreciate the seven sovereigns for my work. That is very much appreciated. And we will talk to Wynn, sure enough. Potted plant here. Let's go ahead and take that. Chanter's board from the living wood you see the graphics are totally broken on this chanter's board <laughs> from the living wood may the maker smile on amaranthine and her people the templar seeks samples of wood from ancient sylvans they are close to discovering what twisted magic drives these creatures and how to defeat them sylvans have been sighted in the wending wood and may be the cause of trouble along the trade routes chanter jans of course we're going to take everything we can with that Okay, we did accept that. It's kind of hard to tell here. Praying on the weak. My brothers and sisters in the Maker, cruel thugs are preying upon the men and women taking refuge outside the city walls, threatening these poor, desolate souls with violence unless they give over their money. Will no one come to their defense, Brother Mika? People will, of course, come to their defense. Out of control. The Templars of Amaranthine require the assistance of one experienced with dealing with mages. Please speak to Sir Rylian inside the Chantry of Our Lady Redeemer. Chanter Jans. A donation of injury kits. Please help. The Chantry's supplies are running low. The sisters urgently require a donation of five injury kits. Make it turn his gaze on Amaranthine. Now we do have injury kits, I believe. All men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. We indeed do. Quest completed. Now let's talk to Wynn. Oh, it is so good to see you. It is very good to see I you. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. Shouldn't you be in Tavintola's Shale? What happened? The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Indulge me. These events affect more than just mages. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage. But they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. Interesting that Anders' whole spiel has been about how he wants to be free himself, but he doesn't want freedom for the rest of the mages, huh? 
Isn't that an interesting turn of events? That is troubling. Well, it could turn out to be nothing, but keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the college. What's she doing in the Wending Wood? Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. The hour is late That's and no I doubt must true. go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. Now, as you again learn here, there's very much a lot of quests and all roads are leading to the Wendon Wood from Amaranthine, so that's why we wanted to come here first and get all that done. We're gonna go slaughter these scumbags in the city, then we'll talk to Constable Aiden and then we'll wrap up. Probably take a big swing around to just keep on my own time. Make sure that we get everything squared away. I, I saw a bunch of chests up there. We all saw that, so... <laughs> If you want to explore the ramparts, I don't believe there's any quests up there, but if there is, I'll record it, of course. I'll make sure you guys don't miss anything. You see these scumbags, you they're extortions. You're not one of the city guard. I'm commander of the Grey. Oh, you're the warden who's helping out. In that case, make yourself at home. Hey. Um, where did I just get, um... Huh? <laughs> Where am I? Not sure how that ended up happening when we were just running down the street, but... <laughs> Alas, we'll swing on back. Now, most of the quests we picked up from the Radiant Quest boards around here were all in the Wending Wood. I think this is one of the only ones we have so far for this. And then, of course, we do have to talk to the Templar and the Chantry. She wants us to go hunt some mages out in the city, which, if they're causing people trouble, I'm definitely willing to do. First things first, all these scumbags extorting the citizens here. The refugees have lost enough. We deal with these the same way as we dealt with the bandits on the road outside Lothurin at the start of our Origins playthrough. That's going to be the end of you. You see, we do hold up pretty good, even without our party. My party is back here. They're dealing with the other group of these bandits. I figured I'd just take these on myself. See how we held up. We did hold up very good. Gives me a lot of confidence in our build. Definitely got a lot of leeway. Of course, now, if this was a Darkspawn fire, a major encounter, I would never do that. That's purely because they're just scrub bandits. On it. Not too worried about micromanaging against this kind of caliber of enemy. I sense something drawing near. Just have these four left to slaughter. Yeah, stop right there. As you wish. You had it coming. And that takes care of them. Quest completed. I suppose in the meantime, I'll actually just swing by good old Aiden and tell him that we took care of the smuggling ring. Anything to report? The smugglers will no longer trouble you. The city of Amaranthi owes you a great debt. Thank you, Commander. You're very welcome. Right now, Sigrun approved plus two for that. Which is very good. May I help you? I read your posting on the Chancellor's board. I am fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. Why aren't you taking care of him? I've only newly taken my vows. The more senior Templars have returned to Denerim for more men. They suggested I find someone more skilled, like you, who could apprehend the Maleficarum. Maleficarum? Here? Yeah. Apostates and Maleficarum are all too common across the nation, alas. 
I have worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the maker's work. Sounds good. Now, of course, Anders is going to disapprove on all this because he's Team Blood Mage. He thinks Mages should rule the world. We, however, disagree. So that's not going to be how that works. And then he's going to sit there and going to piss and moan about it, but he's going to help us ultimately turn them into. Your friends and neighbors would do well to heed this lesson and join and Before us. we do that, we are going to suck up all these codex. They're the records that we were looking at for Sir Dylan. We finally found those. Lots of blank journals Let's and things in here. Right, now if we go over to our quests, we did have in the city of Amaranthine. Where would that go? Not what hills. Locate Darren Lyle's treasure. Chantry records say Darren Lyle lived in a small house outside the city until his death. His treasure may remain there. We'll definitely look at that. Have somebody called Alma here. Talk to the revered mother. Have you delivered your annual tithe to the Chantry, sir? My annual tithe. It's not like Karam to be gone this long. I was sure I would find him at the inn. We'll go ahead and look for Karam for the wife right there. Right now, the, do you see back there, the Dark Wolf is back. But he probably has the things for us. We will go ahead and talk to him while we're up here. Is there some great ceremony when someone joins the Legion of the Dead? It's doors busted down, skulls thumped, and vices preyed upon. But I have answers. Who are my enemies? I could not unearth the conspirators' identities. They are paranoid. But I know they meet at Old Stark's farm on the Ferival Plains. Then I must make haste. Make her be with you. And you. Now I'm not gonna apprehend him and hold him hostage. There's no reason. He helped us, so there's no reason to make an enemy out of him. Now this one is moving. He went top. We'll follow him up. Okay, now we have a fire in our hands. And of course, he doesn't try and do anything. He just immediately becomes active and tries to kill us. Takes care of him. Right, now that's the first of three. She, of course, has just decided to break again. There's nothing we can do about this at all. It doesn't seem... Oh, there we go. Okay, she's aggroed now. Okay. That works. Right, that's two out of three. Just one more left to do, so... I believe Sigrun just got level 29. She did indeed. So we'll go 50 Dexterity and 43... Actually, let's give you 27 Willpower. I imagine you might still be struggling on Will a little. Now, Coup de Gras sounds good for you, so we won't investigate that too, too much. Now, let's see if the last one works for us. Now, here's Packed Earth. I assume this is going to be Darren Lyle's treasure cache. A ring of subtlety to three dexterity and three cunning it's a pretty good buff quest completed now we did have to swing by the bar for the one woman inside the chantry and this quest i just gave up on so these muttering elves he's broken he's not going to turn aggro there's nothing we can do about it i reloaded the game seven times i did get the other two to work i killed the female elf and the one up on the battlements but this one he just won't go aggro. There doesn't seem to be anything I can do about that. So, all that being said, we'll go turn in this last quest for the man, and then I suppose that's going to be a wrap for the episode since we're bugged out. Um, not much more we can do about it, really. And now, of course, he randomly aggroes, so we will be doing this quest, it seems. Quest updated. That takes care of that, at least. <laughs> The, uh, the irony of all the random just works all of a sudden. We leave, we come back, and he just aggroes. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I won't complain about bugs randomly fixing themselves. Now, we did find a scrap of paper in the bar. It was from the woman's husband. He mentioned something about the battlements up here. So, of course, the next note fragment is up on the battlements. Let's get started. You found another fragment of a no from Alma's husband, in which he laments his failure to meet her dream of buying and restoring an old abandoned house. 
The house itself may yield further clues. Now, there's plenty of abandoned houses outside the front of Amaranthine here, so we're going to go ahead and loot the rest of these battlements while we're up here, and then we'll go check out the abandoned house. I suspect it's that one right there at the bottom, where we just killed a bunch of thugs trying to throw in some refugees. I imagine it will, of course, be the house down here. There's only so many houses on the outskirts of Amaranthine. And if you saw through the crack there, I think we already found what happened to Alma's husband. Here's Kareem. This should be easy enough. Items received. So all those notes that we found from him, they read. Stroll on the catwalks above the city. I still go there and think of you, dear Alma. Poor husband, restoring that house was your dream, but I failed you. Better off without me, Alma. Be free, my love. When he finally gave up on restoring this old house, he decided he couldn't fulfill her dreams and to take himself out of it completely. Of course, he's very foolish for that. She didn't really care about the house in the end. What she really cared about was him. And if he would have pulled his head out of his ass to see that, maybe he'd still be here to be with his lovely wife instead of... Now the unfortunate reality is a stranger needs to go back to his wife and inform her that her husband is gone, so that is on him ultimately. He took the coward's way out. Definitely not a fan of that, but not much we can do now apart from tell his wife that she's going to have to be alone for the rest of her life now. All things in this world are finite. What one man we will of course go talk to the Templar in here and turn that quest in as well while we're here. Good news, Sir Rylan. I will pray for you, Commander. The dark spawn was supposed to go away when the Archdemon died. Did we just get the completion on Out of Control? You eliminated three apostate mages at the request of Sir Rylan, but they left hints as to the whereabouts of their leader. Find and kill the mage's leader. I see. We gotta kill a leader mage. Certainly prepared to do that. Let's get started. He hung himself. Oh, Karen, why couldn't you have told me? Yeah. Yeah. For anybody ever dealing with anything, if you watch my videos, reach out to somebody. Whether that's me, a family member, the comment section, somebody else in a Discord, anybody. It's never worth that. There's always a solution and there's always a path forward. As hard as it may seem, to see that and to take that, I promise you there is always a way. That is never the solution. Reach out to somebody. Don't create a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Now I know that can sound condescending, but I assure you, it's temporary. There's no need to take drastic measures to temporary things like that. And I'm sure if you could talk to... If Karim could see his wife... I'm sure he would disagree with the actions he took, so. Right, now we gotta find this Blood Mage leader somewhere in the city. We are kind of picking up bits and pieces as we circle around for think one of the bar quests. I think our grin is quite hilarious, oh, actually. Let me tell you about my life in one word. Uh, oh no, don't take me back to the tower. I'm far, far too delicate. <laughs> I'm not only a dwarf, I'm a moron. Listen to me far. It's much smarter than you, Anders. Big Templar man, what are you going to do with that sword? By the power in my blood, you will suffer for what you have. No, I won't. You'll die, though. He's already shield bashing, so. Yep, you're gonna sit on your ass. You won't be casting any blood magic here, friend. And that's the end of the mage leader. On it. Quest updated. Right. Now we did turn everything that we got so far, so let's head on back to Sir Ryland. I'm sure Anders will disapprove greatly that we just snuffed out the mage threat. But that's his problem, not ours. <laughs> we don't take kindly to blood mages. No matter what their excuse for doing so is. It is interesting to see what these companions will disagree with. Sir Anders hates that we killed blood mages. And Nathaniel hates that we helped orphans. 
If he still has some of that Howard DNA in him, huh? All men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. I definitely appreciate the 20 sovereigns, though. Now we have all these in the Wending Wood. We're not going to touch on any of that yet. I did notice that the Black Marsh, I had a quest to get Sir Alvard's sword. And then I looked in my inventory and I have Sir Alvard's sword. So I'm not sure what that's about. Perhaps there's a duplicate. There's the Keeper Manual. That's our final subclass that we were looking for from Awakening. Of course, the opportunity to get Blood Mage is in Origins, not in Awakening. So that won't be something we have to keep our eyes on. Or excuse the kind of edited chopped up nature of this video i dealt with so many bugs during this recording that i kind of had just had to salvage it and make the best of it but alas that is going to be a wrap so if you enjoyed the video please subscribe leave a like and a comment if you want to support the cause and help improve the channel as always there is a tip link in the description below otherwise stay tuned and i'll see you soon with more dragon age awakening take care everybody have a good day